Hello, welcome guys. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to look at combo box edit in Dev Express. Now we go to the toolbox. We search for combo box edit, and now we move it over our form one. And this is our combo box. Resize a little bit. Uh, let's run it. First, look at it. As you see, this is our combo box. But there's one things I would like to change first. For example, first let's add some uh, items. So I click here, edit items. I just write some names. That's my name, Ahmed, David, Jack, Jamie, Jehan, and Murat. I say OK. Now let's run it. How it looks. As you see, that we have all names uh, we added inside our combo box edit. Uh, but there is uh, one thing I would like to do it. For example, if I choose Ahmed, I can edit it. I just want to prevent this one. So, in order to do that, we go to the all properties. And then from properties, text edit style this is standard I will disable text editor now let's run it as you see that you cannot edit now beside this I would like to change the back, back color of our combo box and also uh, here we have a, a sorted if you uh, select this one it will sort alphabetically now let's do it and how it will be first run it as you see that from A to Z it uh, sorted alphabetically see Jack, Jamie so now we will go to and check uh, for changing back color of our combo box edit whenever it focus on it now we will go to on all properties from here we have appearance focus and back color I will say light shine now let's run it as you see that because since we have only one component inside our form certainly it will focus on it that's why it gets color if we have another one if you focus on it this back color it will be gone so this is like this let's uh, add some button simply button it will add uh, names let's say let's change uh, first change name will change the name of this one names and from simple button add names and here we say add names Now let's uh, add the image on our button from image. Mm, I will choose from vector. Maybe this one is cooler. So now I would like to add some names, maybe five names. First, I will uh, create a string array and within the for loop. And then when I uh, click this add names button, it will add all names inside our text, uh, inside our combo box. Now we double click to our add names. First, let me create array, let's say names. As you see that our uh, name mm. 
let's put some uh, some names mm. Actually. and sorry I have to do something Natalie Jamal mm. Gary um, Thomas um, last one if name let's say uh, Bill now let's create a, a for loop it will start zero until five sorry now we'll write our combo box names and then if you want to add any uh, any item will add it uh, through the properties properties then items then add and now we'll write our array and then we'll that's something less for our uh, project. As you see, we don't have this Natalie, Jamal, Gary, Thomas, Bill. Let's press this one. As you see, that all of them they can add it, and even it's sorted alphabetically. So now, whenever we open our form one, we want first item to be selected. I mean, if we look at the item first one is Ahmed, we want this to be selected we double click our form 1 and then from form 1 combo box name then uh, selected index equals 0 because all this uh, items it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it goes like this let's run it how it will look as you see uh, my name is selected and add you see uh, now we will be adding uh, any item from the text box inside our combo box let's add a, a text edit move over our form and then we add another simple button Let's change the name. Text uh, add name. BTN add name. And let's create an image for this one. We'll add image. Mm. It's from here, maybe. And so or maybe save this one. I'll choose. to each other maybe something like this more like this now we double click our add name uh, button and we say combo box properties items add and then we we'll write our text box text now let's run it and uh, let's I will write which name I will write Nicola edit 
As you see that there is an equal i here. We can now add names. So, and uh, whenever we add our Nicola name, we want our text box to be clear and at the same time our combo box edit should be selected our new item. Let's do this one. After we edit, we say takes the add name to empty and then uh, we'll say combo box selected item equal takes the name now we say we will add Nicola first let's add other names also Nicola as you see Nicola is selected here and also we can uh, add a message box here whenever our name is added but uh, later we will use extra message box in dev express so we don't need to do now and now we'll add a new a button and text box this time it is for the search um, simple button Let's name these things. Takes the search name and then from simple button BTN search name and then we change the text of it as a search name. Now let's add an image to our button. We'll say Maybe fine. Mm. This one maybe you will choose it. Let's resize our button. Mm, something like this. Now let's double click our search name. And now uh, we'll go say selected item equal takes the search name text. Now let's run our form one. Here first we add Nicola. We add it. Here's Nicola. I choose uh, Jihan. And then I write Nicola. Then this combo box that it should be selected Nicola. As you see that this function. This is like this guys. Uh, thanks for watching.